and welcome back. The wife of the Gombe state governor is leading the advocacy against gender-based violence in the state. Asmao Inuwa Yahaya was joined by other prominent women and social advocates to raise awareness and protect the most vulnerable members of society. Larry Adeyemi has the tips. This is not the NSAS protest. Still, it is a call for change. A change in attitude a change in the culture of silence and a charge for action. This procession, led by the wife of Gombe State Governor, is part of 16-day long advocacy against gender-based violence. Persistent and devastating human rights violation, which affects millions of girls and women at home, workplace or school, regardless of age, background or level of education. This violence takes many forms, including physical, sexual, and psychological. I urge every one of us, the good citizen of Gombe State, and from the local government to the local world and to our families, to make sure we keep an eye to say no to gender-based violence. Almost on a daily basis, Gombe State Office receive cases of um, gender-based violence, which are normally um, reported by women, women group, civil society organizations, and government organizations in the state. The struggle did not start today. Asmao has long been at the fore, taking the advocacy to the state legislature, raising awareness on the streets, and caring for victims in hospitals. She is comforted that the goal is closer now, more than ever before. Okay, see, we talk to like civil societies. We make jingles on radios, televisions. Awareness is very important because so far, some people don't even see it as something big. But with awareness and advocacy, and I believe especially our religious leaders. <laughs> Each year, 16 days of advocacy is dedicated to ending violence against women and girls. It starts from the 25th of November to the 10th of December, which is the International Human Rights Day. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.